creepers. So today's vlog brings me to Troutdale, Oregon, which is a suburb of Portland, east to this incredibly beautiful, yet pretty creepy and spooky building. And this building right here was built in 1911 and is now the McMinimums Edgefield, which is a brewery and hotel right here in Troutdale, Oregon. But for many years has been considered haunted from the tales of people staying here over the years to the police officers who trained here back in the late 80s. This was a poor farm when it very first opened, which means people from all over the world would travel here to work, pick hops, pick berries, and in return would have a place to stay. But over the years, it changed hands, like I said, into a training facility for the police department. But to this day has many stories and history, like I said, of hauntedness and ghosts. And like I said, this place just is incredibly beautiful. And this is the McMinimums Edgefield. And we're gonna go in here and check this out. And I appreciate you guys tuning in today. It is an absolutely beautiful fall day. And I wanna give you guys a little bit more of history, but I also wanna just kinda of go in here and check out all the beautiful artwork and historic value. And also see if we can maybe get a glimpse maybe inside if not just to the front of one of the rooms that is considered to be haunted right here inside the grand lodge as we enter you guys can see how beautiful this is with the beautiful view up front here so we're going to step in here and check this out and i haven't been out here for a while go ahead after you my friend but the last time I was here, not only did I see such really cool artwork all along the walls in here, but also the one of the gals that does the tours was telling me about the haunted room. But we're just gonna go ahead and check out the lodge here with all the beautiful artwork Feel. And when you walk in, this place holds such a cool vibe, not only with the lighting, but just the feel of the, bu the building itself, with all the old school wood and everything, really holds, I think, truth to a lot of the stories that I've heard over the years. Here's an old school picture of the front there. And if you guys saw in the opening shot there how beautiful the ivy was growing up the sides. But like I said, the entire building is just decked out with beautiful artwork. Beautiful paintings all out through the entire building here. And there's also little hidden gems um, all over the building from these really cool paintings, like I said, to all the light fixtures and like handles as well. Look at how cool that is. So we're gonna go up here and I'm gonna show you like a couple of the little hidden gems. And then we're gonna see if we can find possibly one of the rooms. So if you guys can see what I'm saying, 
We've got these little bases throughout the entire building. Super cool. And I just love the detail. But this is the, like throughout the entire building. They've got these pieces everywhere. So not only do people stay here when they're traveling, but they'll stay and enjoy some of the drinks from the brewery, hence the beers and whatnot in the guys' hands here. But they've always done a great job on all their covering for their beers as well. And here's another historic picture that looks to be like the actual farm. So cool. Here's another one. Wow, they've done a really good job of keeping these pictures. So let's cruise through here and check out some more of these pieces, but I really want to see if we can find the room that is considered to be the most haunted. Maybe you guys can help me. I was curious. I've heard many of tales from here, and you guys are probably the best to ask. I'm Christopher, by the Hi. way, <laughs> and um, I was wondering what do you or may have heard or what you, have you heard of the most haunted room? Considered, I believe it was like 215, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> she said, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> um, so what's the easiest access to just view the front? Obviously, I'll be respectful uh, for any guests. The stairs to the next floor. That's it. It's, it's down the main hall. Okay, thank you so yeah, much. You're welcome. You guys got any like little tidbits <laughs> that you might want to throw in or is it too spooky while you're working? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's okay. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, I saw the staff there, so. See what great friendly people too, and they've even got this little exit deck out here. But yeah, we're going to be very respectful because there are people staying here. But I wanted to take you at least to the front of the room and then explain to you guys the story that I was told. So it looks like room 218 to 220. So we're gonna have to head back this way, but that gives us an opportunity to look at some more of these beautiful paintings throughout this entire lodge. Very cool. Very cool. So maybe Oh wow, here's an actual living section of one of our uh, newspapers out here, the Oregonian, that did a full spread on all the artists out here as well. So for many years, it's pretty cool too that they label each room, the whole in one room. And I'm not sure if we're going the right way here, you guys, so bear with me while I get my surroundings. But it looks like we might have to head back because this is 233. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Look at this. This is cool. At one point, this was like where the payphone would have been. And they've got this gal here, which looks like when you're walking down the hall that somebody's actually there. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, let's see, I think. Two oh, oh no, three oh eight. Oh no, two oh eight. So, two oh one to two oh seven. So maybe it's down to thirteen. What would this be? Two nine. What is this? Two oh nine. And I believe they said 215. So. Wow, this is kind of creepy down here. Here's 213. The Billy Jones room. 212, 211. Interesting. Where in the world is 215? 210. 
think we passed it, guys. Well, that's spooky in itself. It's like it disappeared. So maybe it's down this way a bit here still. That's okay, because now we can check out the art on this side. Oh, right here, look. 215. The Amazing Grace Room. And it looks like it's occupied, so I don't want to take up too much time. But if you guys can see, number 215 is considered the most haunted room of the entire building. Which that lady on the phone freaked me out already as I was walking through. But this room, when this was a training facility, was found as the rooms were being checked and, ex and, and um, renovated. Um, to have been locked and there was different doorknobs on at the time you can see they replaced them with the like hotel style Handles, but the knob was jiggling when one of the officers came by that did the training And when he opened the room up for the first time there was a giant pentagram drawn out on the floor with wax and candles all around almost like a seance had happened and throughout the years they have tried paint and lacquer and all kinds of things on these hardwood style floors but the pentagram itself would constantly come back and not to mention a lot of the people that had been into this room before had basically hightailed it right in the middle of the night during their stay they would just leave all their gear all their belongings and literally just bounce so if that's not spooky, I don't know what is. But I wanted to show you guys this place because not only of the historical value, but with the uh, Halloween and everything coming up, I believe it made just for such a great story and just the history of this building itself. And if you guys can see, it just continues to have just beautiful artwork. The entire building. And then they've also got these really cool balconies that you can step on and out to. And enjoy the view from up top here, which is just incredible. And if you guys can see the ivy, like I said, runs all the way up the sides of the building. So that's going to do it from the haunted McMinimums. <laughs> I appreciate you guys tuning in like you do. And uh, if you guys haven't hit that likes up button, now would definitely be the time to do so. If you guys haven't hit that little bell, you can hit that little bell down below on the right. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to know. But until then, I love you guys. And with that being said, Creeper out for now. And I'll leave you with one little shot here of another little hidden art gem all over this entire building creeper out for now peace